everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share how to access special characters and glyphs on a Mac computer. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you'll probably know that I have a have always had a Windows computer, but my Windows computer just recently died. Um, it wasn't charging. So I finally bought a new computer and decided to get a MacBook. I did a video about a year ago on how to access these glyphs and flourishes. It was such a popular video, but it is with a Windows computer. So I decided to make a video with a Mac. If you are a Mac user, I'm going to write the exact same thing. I wrote out thankful on my other one. I am going to do it the exact same way. If you have a Windows computer, I will link that video down below so you can just go directly to that one and you'll be able to see how to access that with a Windows computer. But with a Mac, it's actually very easy to access these. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to click on text. I'm going to use the same font that I used on my other video, which is the Samantha upright font. I'll select that. Then I am going to type in thankful. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see this. I really love this font. I bought this off of the Mighty Deals website. I'll link it down below for you. I like to use this one as an example because this font has so many flourishes. It's crazy the amount of flourishes that it has. And this is a great font if you want to um, make like Christmas signs and things like that. So I'll just leave the link below in my description box if you're interested in the font. On a Mac computer, you actually have an application installed on your computer already. It's called Fontbook. I have it right here, but I'll show you how to access it. If you go over to your launch pad and select that, you can find it on here, which somehow I have it in the other section. But this is what it looks like. You'll just double click into that. Here's the application. I'm going to make this bigger. Here's the fonts that I have installed from other places on this computer. Since I just got this computer, I don't have a lot already, so I have to go back and try to find all of my favorites again. I'll probably just look at my old computer. Sometimes if you pull this up, it might be on this screen, so it'll show this. But you'll want to do is click over to the second tab. Here's the Samantha font. If you start scrolling down, you can see all of the different letters and flourishes that you can do with this that you can use with this font. So there's a ton with this font, so I really do like this one. The first letter that I'm going to, going to change is the T. This is in alphabetical order, so I'm going to scroll almost all the way towards the end to find that. I've scrolled down to the bottom. Here is some of the T's. I'm going to select this one. So I'll just select that. Then what I do is hit Command C on my keyboard. Now I'm going to go over to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to select this and double click in it. Then I am going to select over this T and you can see that it is highlighted there. Then I will select Command V and you can see that it changes it. It shows up with this square in the box which is fine because obviously it still changes it. When Cricut Design Space came out with their beta app, it doesn't let you right click in Cricut Design Space anymore on your mouse for some reason, but you can select Command V and that works really well. Now quickly, I'm just going to show you how I do the other ones. It's the exact same way. I'll go back over to Fontbook. I also wanted to show you that you can <clears throat> change the size of this as well so you can scroll down and make it a lot bigger. Um, you can use this as well too. So that's kind of neat also. Now I'm just going to look for an H, so I'll scroll, scroll towards the top. I'm scrolling through it really fast because I'm kind of just looking for that H. Okay, here's the H that I'm going to use, so I'll select Command C again, then I'll go down to Cricut and I'll highlight just the H, then I'll select Command V. Now I'm just going to change the F and the L. I'll select that, hit Command C and go back down. 
Then I'll just highlight over that again. And I'll do the last one, which is the L. And I'll use that one. Now that I have all of that, I'll click on ungroup. Then I will just group all of these pieces together. It really is easy on the Mac because on a Windows computer, I download another software that I like better than what's installed on Windows. But on a Mac, it's already installed on your computer and it is just really easy to use. Once you have all of those connected, you want to weld it together. So I'm gonna highlight over all of this do not forget this step. I've done this before where I just attached it and I made something and you can see the cut lines where I connected things together. So with script font, you definitely definitely want to weld it together. If you go back to font book, here's some of the other ones that I have downloaded. You can also see what's on your computer as well. So here's all the different ones that are on your computer. Or you can go to all fonts. So that is how you access those really fun flourishes on a Mac computer. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and subscribe if you are new to my channel and have a great day.